They start out with a big bang and they end up a year or two later. Yes. Forty some years. Come on, give God a hand, friends, church. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Glory to God. Well, we couldn't go without letting the little ditty one. She's in her forties, and I ain't gonna tell her age, but here come Pastor's daughter, our own Joni Lane. Amen. 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 tell you guys like the personal side of your pastor because all the things that Uncle Ricky said are true so I have to find something else to say. <laughs> so I'm his daughter and I've been with him every step of the journey. And I just wanted to see if all the stuff he's been saying is true honestly and it has been because God has healed him from strokes and cancer and he's prayed for other people and he's healed them so because I'm a naturally nosy person I've just been studying him and when he met my stepmother, I was like, wow, he met his twin. <laughs> because I, it's kind of comical to me, but my dad has no rhythm, and he can't sing at all. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't think anybody else on earth would be like that. <laughs> I was like, wow. But I think it's cute because, <laughs> exactly, they're going to be together forever. And I saw that, I was like, wow, you know, you need that as a spiritual man because I saw that he did great things and a lot of people would come after him, you know, a lot of different women. And as a child, well, as his child, you ain't coming after him. You have to have it together. So when I met Wanda, I really studied her. I was like, you trying to come over here and do what? <laughs> and I saw that she was a woman of integrity and she actually held on to her word. She said she's going to do something for you. She's going to do something for you. You don't have to question that. She's going to do it. And when I saw that, a lot of people don't do that. When I saw that, my dad does that. And I'm like, wow, okay, so yeah, you are perfect for him. And I just thank God for him finding you and seeing how they connect. I, you know, I look at him at the house and I just see how they interact. I'm like, wow. wow. <laughs> and it makes you, you know, look at your relationship. So like, that, you connect so with your husband or your mate like that. Do yeah, you guys so have anything in common that just connects you guys? And... I see that in my father and his relationship with his wife. I have that with my husband, and I thank you for that. I Amen. thank you, Amen. not you know, for not being non rhythmic, but it's very funny to me. <laughs> but I thank you guys for having things in common and sharing that with me without even knowing. Amen. 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 You guys are doing a great job with the church, and I thank you for helping because when you came, everything changed. I told my sister, I said when. Wanda came, everything changed. Everything got organized. We had people in place to do it. Not to say it wasn't organized, but you know how a woman organizes things. She organized everything, what he needed. She made sure what he needed he had, what he wanted he had, and that's what you're supposed to do as a wife. You know, you don't have to sing and dance and be in charge of every ministry or department. You just need to be there to support him, and that's what she does. Yes. That's what I want to do. I just want to say thank you and congratulations. You've been doing this my entire life, <laughs> literally. And it's amazing to me that you've never given up. And I've asked you over the years, are you tired yet? Do you want to stop this? And you told me, no, no, I'm not stopping. You said, quitters quit when things get tough. Winners win when they win. Yeah. And he's a winner. And he always Amen. wants to win. Very competitive, but that's good. Because in this spiritual fight, you need to be competitive. You need to make up your mind who you're going to fight. Because you're going to have to fight. Yes. So, and he's just taught me over the years, just stand strong and pray and believe in God. And different situations will come up and I'll call him. He was like, well, you need to pray about it. And I actually, you know, 
started doing that this year, and I had a breakthrough, and I was like, wow, you know, this really works. Mm -hmm. Not that I never believed it, but, you know, I've seen some miracles in my own life, but when I saw what happened this year, just for me, and I, I wasn't even thinking about it, and God was like, yeah, I'll do it for you. You know, yeah. I got you. And I learned that by watching you and you praying all the time. I'm like, my dad's going to pray for some groceries. It's not going to happen. You know, just different <laughs> things. That some moment knock on the door with groceries, I'm like, Wow, it really does work. But you know, he's always believed. Ever since I've been born, that's all he's taught me. He's like, you gotta believe. And I look at the world and I'm like, you guys don't know because you guys weren't taught. So someone's gotta get out there and start teaching them. It's like right. I was taught, I've never doubted God. I've never believed there wasn't a God because I saw it for myself when I was a child. And I didn't share it with people because I'm like, they're gonna think I'm weird. But you know, I saw an angel when I was four years old and I think after that moment, you couldn't tell me there wasn't a God. Because who was that in my bedroom? I know what I saw. I can tell you to this day what I saw in my bedroom. And he stayed there for a good five minutes. And I kept asking him what his name was, where his mom was. He wouldn't speak to me. He was very rude. So I just kept turning away. And then the third time I turned back around, he had finally disappeared. I wasn't scared at all. I was no fear, no nothing. And I ran across the room. And I woke my parents up, and I was like, there was something in this room. And I described it, and my dad just started smiling. I'm like, you're smiling. That's not good. You're, something was here to take me or do something. He was like, that was an angel. And I'm like, so there is a God. And after that point, you know, anything else that happened in my life, I'm like, I will always remember that. I'm like, I saw that, so you can't tell me there isn't a God. Or I'm crazy, because I saw that. I still remember that. Like it happened yesterday. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God for you always, you know, knowing what to do spiritually. If I call you to like, Daddy, had this really weird dream. And I would describe it in detail. And we would pray about it and, you know, see the results of it. And he was like, see, we prayed about it. And this is what happened. I'm like, wow. So he's really taught me how to pray and how to really believe God. And he found somebody else who trusts God just like he does and prays like he does. And I didn't think there was anybody else that was going to get up at, you know, early in the morning and start praying about 4 or 5 o'clock. And then one day I found out that she does it. I'm like, they really are twins because that's weird. Every time he did it, I was looking at him like, oh, God, he's up there praying. And I would know what time it was because according to his prayers, I would be brushing my teeth and I would hear him and I would, you know, wash my face and come back down after I do my hair. And I'm like, okay, if he was about to end his prayer, I need to be down there eating breakfast. Because you pray for about a good three or four hours every morning before I would get up and go to school. And I was like, wow. And then when I found out she was doing it, I'm like, she didn't have any kids. She didn't have anybody. Why were you up? Like, I don't get up early in the morning unless I have to. So it doesn't make any sense to me to get up that early. But when I saw him do that, my days would just go fine. You know, I didn't have any problems. I'm like, huh, okay, maybe you need to get up early and connect with God. You know, before you Amen. start your day, before Amen. anything is about to pop off, you can probably Amen. pray that away. And I'm like, you probably prayed a lot away. And I just thank God for those memories, but for you doing that and finding somebody else who does the same thing that you do, it's really cute to me. I like that. Amen. Amen. All right, come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, come on. This is a scene. Never have I seen the right to the table. He's going to be blessed. My son and her husband, thank God for the union, the union for those two. And those two are blessed. They are our seed. They are blessed. Well, it's time to move on, amen, and we're going to the introduction of the speaker. And I'm going to ask uh, Prophetess Shirley Moore to come. Pastor Dion, uh, praise team is going to sing us away. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. Thank you, Freddy. Amen. Thank you all for being a part of the kingdom of God, and thank you, God, for allowing me. Hold on, you can stay five minutes. 
When God said we're two or three together, he's in the midst, and so we're full of God's anointing in the house. And I just bring you greetings for Faith Ministry Baptist Church, where Pastor Dion A. Smith serves the virtual uh, ministry every Sunday, an hour of power at 1 p.m. We believe in Hebrews 11 and 6, where it states, without faith. It's impossible to believe God, for he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He gave birth during the transition of his mother and my mother, Jimmy L. Cooper, and God birthed Faith Ministry Bible Church, and we've been able to join with all of our family members every Sunday and their extended family. He is also the board member of um, Hartwell Smitty Foundation, who is named after our father, who transitioned during the first uh, months of COVID, and we were able to start a nonprofit organization where we empower youth and young adults ages 16 through 24. And now we just purchased um, a building in Chicago where he'll be facilitating and contracting that building that is um, 14,000 square feet i the anchor of our resource center, and he's the general contractor for that. So our goal and our duty as the pastor that he leads and be a man who gets in the trenches as he preach every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. to the homeless shelter. So the Bible said that we will not perish from the lack of knowledge, and so he goes to where the needy is, and we praise God for him and for the legacy, and just being a brother to Pastor Landers, who was coming to get his haircut every Sunday, I mean every weekend, and their connection gave birth and wonder, and I came from New Macedonia Baptist Church, so the Holy Spirit just intertwined everything together for his glory. And we praise God, so the next voice you will hear after the praise team will be my brother, um, Pastor DNA Smith. Again, thank you. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Come on, praise team. Glory to God. You know, I've been with him 41 years. I was his first church member when he started his church. And it's something because it was a, a God connection. And I've been with him for 41 years. I thought when I first got saved that he was older than me. And so I used to call him Pops. All of us used to call him Pops. Man, I found out that joke four years old than me. Hey, you can't be my Pops. <laughs> but you can be my spiritual Pops. Amen. And that's what he is. He's my spiritual father. And I wouldn't be where I am today if God hadn't planted me in his ministry and put me with him. And the only good thing that you see about me is because God has done it. Amen. I'm nobody without him. Yes. And I'll let anybody know I'm nothing Amen. without him. Amen. Glory to God. Here we go. Thank you. 
He restored my soul. He leadeth me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. This is our verse for today. Yea, that I woke through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. Yes, yes. My cup runneth over. Yes. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yes. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Pray and turn and gracious God. Father, we just thank you in advance for your word. I pray that we don't leave the same fashion that we came in. Yes, Lord. That we will become strengthened and renewed. Yes, Lord. Knowing that this too shall pass. Yes. Yes, Father, allow your word to get in between the bone and the marrow. Yes. That it will lift us in such a way that we are compelled to do the works of the kingdom. Yes. Father, not my will. But your will be done. Yes. Remove me, use me, and have your way through me. Yes. That one may ask, what must I do to be saved? Yes. This is our petition on today. And it's in the matchless, merciful name of our yes. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Let all hearts say amen. 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 I thank God for my family. Thank God for my friends. I thank God for this invitation. Mm -hmm. I thank God just for being in the number. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you couldn't invite anyone, but I thank God for even considering me. Mm -hmm. For that alone, I have to say thank you. Thank you. But I truly believe that there's something in this word today yes. that we could take note of in these perilous times. Yes. That if we begin to attack this word and utilize this word, it will strengthen us to the point that we become renewed. Mm -hmm. This verse that started, the Lord is my shepherd, mm -hmm. is not just a word that should be ignored. Well. This writer of this passage is by the name of David. <laughs> David was known as being the shepherd that tended to his father's sheep. Mm -hmm. Amen. This David is the same David that had to tend to the sheep mm -hmm. and had to destroy a lion and a bear. Mm -hmm. This is the same David that when the prophet came to his father's house, the oil wouldn't pour mm -hmm. until David's foot set on the soil. Mm. Come on. This is that same David Amen. Amen. that was anointed 14 years mm. yes. before he took office. Yes. Yes. This is that same David yes. that when his brothers went out to battle, yes. he took five smooth stones yes. and a slingshot yes. and destroyed the giant in the battle. Yes. This is that same David, same David that when the king Saul had a headache, they sent David to his house to sing and praise mm -hmm. to soothe his headache. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. This is that same David Glory to God. Thank that you, saw a woman and, and saw her as being fine mm -hmm. and decided just to put her husband on the front line. Yes. This is that same David. Come on. When they was wondering how could he get by with what he was getting by with, mm -hmm. David had a word that was sent to him by the Lord. Yeah. The prophet came to his house and said there was a man with many sheep, mm -hmm. and there was a man with one sheep. Mm -hmm. And the man that had many sheep took the man's only sheep. Mm -hmm. And because the man that had many sheep took the man's <laughs> only sheep, Hmm. What should we do with this man? Hmm. David heard his word, 
And David responded and said, the man that had many sheep should be executed for taking that man's only sheep. Yeah. The word told David, well, that's good because you are that man. Come on. And because you are that man, you are in the Lord's hands. Huh. Yeah. David ripped his clothes off. Yeah. Yeah. And he began to weep. And he said to himself, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew in me a right spirit. This is that same day that had eight wives, 18 kids, nine straight victories. David had some good days and some bad days. He had territory. He had the fame. He had the recognition. That same David wrote this passage and he stated to us, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Here it is. I found out what David meant when I read that fourth verse. It says that, yea, though I walk Yes, through the yes. valley of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. I will fear no evil. Yes. For thou art with me, yes. they rod and they staff, mm -hmm. they comfort me. Yes. That's why I want to speak from the subject matter over in the valley. Mm -hmm. in the valley. Over in the valley. In the valley. Yes. Well, I just gave you David's resume. Mm -hmm. But David said something in this text. Because he says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Mm -hmm. David says that I could be laying in green pastures. Mm -hmm. I could be set yeah. by the side of the still waters. Yes. The Lord can restore my soul. Yes. He says, in the midst of all these things that the Lord has done for me, mm -hmm. there's something I want you to pay attention to, and that is, there is a valley. Yes. So right now. And because there is a valley, there is a valley with your name on it. Now I know many of us don't want to hear this today, but the truth is, there is a valley with your name on it. David said here, I walked through everything else. Well, well. I've tried everything else. All right. I've done everything else. Uh -huh. But I still need you to understand. Uh -huh. In order for you to appreciate God uh -huh. in a great amount, yes. you're going to have to go through a battle. Yes. Right. Yes. That's, right. That's right. That's right. He's drawing me to a teacher. You can act like it don't exist. Yes. Yes. You can rebuke it and say, I'm going to name it and claim it, but that ain't it. <laughs> you can say to others, I ain't going through this. Yes. Uh -huh. But the fact still remains, yes. there is a valley yes. with your name yes. on it. Yes. They yes. said, I don't care what you do, yes. where you been, right. how long you been living, yes. what's in your bank account, yes. who's yes. on your side. Yes. There's a valley yes. with your name yes. on it. In order for you to understand your valley, yeah. uh -huh. you got to learn how to get over in your valley. Yeah. Right. Here it is. I know y'all don't want to hear this. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get over in the valley mm. yeah. to appreciate the valley. Yeah. See, valley has some things that you can learn from. Yeah. Number one, there's value in your valley when you volunteer in it. Yeah. Some things yeah. you have to get down into it yeah. to receive from it. Yeah. Yeah. Valleys have a way of showing things in your life yes. that life doesn't mm -hmm. expose by itself. Uh -huh. yeah. David says, Yea, though I walk yes. through the valley of the shadow of death, yes. I will fear no evil. Uh -huh. Here it is. Valleys are important because valleys will pull some out of you yes. that the world can't receive. That's right. Right. David said that this valley that I went through time and time again, it made me wiser. Yes. It made me stronger. Yes. It humbled me. Yes. It gave me the truth about yes. myself. Yes. In other words, I can't trust myself yes. unless God is with me. Yes. That's what David was exposed to us today about this battle. 
And so let me say something in reference to a valley. One thing I can tell you about a valley, that is, the valley will make you go to church. The valley will allow you to understand that you're not in control. A valley will show you who your friends is. That's right. We got so many friends, but I'll tell you, you can count on one hand how many friends you got. You might have some fingers left over. A valley will show you something. That's what David tried to announce to us in this passage. Don't discount the valley. The valley is here. Uh -huh. And the valley will remain here. Yes. And so you don't have to worry about somebody else's valley. Uh -huh. Because there's a valley for you. With your name on it. Okay. Yeah. The valleys. Yeah. They are exposed to you who you are. Uh -huh. yes, Never say what you won't do. Yeah. The only reason you talk is saying what you won't do. Because you haven't been down in your valley. So you get down in your valley, you'll do a whole lot of things that you said you wouldn't do. Some of us today, we're here for the anniversary, but some of us here because we're in the valley. And because we're in the valley, we need some answers to our valley. That's my first point on today. And that is, you must acknowledge that you're in the valley. You must acknowledge that you're in the valley. Yeah. And see, when you come to the realization you're in the valley, there's something in the valley that you must see that you couldn't see while you were standing up. There's some things in the valley that the valley will pull out of you that you didn't even know that you had inside. And some of them would never pray until a valley came. Some of us won't know how to love one another until the valley came. Some of us won't even talk to one another until the valley came. There is something about a valley that you can't substitute. Another thing about a valley is it'll show you who God is. And when you sit down in it and begin to think things out and begin to look over some things, you will discover that, Lord, if you don't come into this valley, yes. there's no way I can get yeah. through these circumstances Ooh. in life. Come on, Is there anybody who can testify today? Amen. 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 I've been in the valley. Yeah. And yeah. that while I'm in the valley, yeah. I discovered that can't nobody uh -huh. do me yeah. like Jesus. Yeah. 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 Can't nobody yeah. bring right. me no hope. Yes. 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 That's what it is. The valley here uh -huh. that David's trying to share with us it causes us to examine some things. Yes. See, the valley will allow you to look up scripture at 2 in the morning. Yeah. 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 Some of us are trying to figure yeah. out where Genesis is at. But while you're in that valley, you're going to find where Genesis is at. Yeah. It will allow you to yeah. look up some things yeah. that you normally wouldn't do. Yeah. And while you're in that valley, mm -hmm. guess what? Okay. If there ain't nobody else to talk to, It'll teach you how to talk to yourself. Come on. Anybody been in the valley so long and say, I got to come out of this? Like it or not, like it or not, here I come. Something got to come out of this valley. But if something don't come out of this, it got to start with your mind. It starts with the mind and it ends with the mind. That I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. This valley also comes with instructions. Amen. Listen what David says. says he says, Yo, yea, do I walk. Mm -hmm. In other words, people love to run, uh -huh. yeah. well, well, but they don't want to walk. Uh -huh. yeah. David it. said, you can't run this. Come on now. You yeah. can't run past this body. Come on. You can't run past it because it got your name on it. Uh -huh. And because your name is on it, uh -huh. there's something in it that you need to see. That's Amen. It. So many of us don't understand why the valley is important. Uh -huh. It's important because it draws us closer uh -huh. and closer to God. Yes. See, valleys will show who God is in your life mm -hmm. and that it will allow you to speak to God when you used to speak to everything else. Yes. That's what happens yes. when you're down in the valley. Yes. See, you can put three pots of hot water on this podium. One pot, you can put an egg in it. 
Mm -hmm. And the egg will become hard. Mm -hmm. The second pot of the same hot water, you can put vegetables in it. Mm -hmm. And it becomes mushy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can put in this pot of hot water, coffee in it. Mm -hmm. But it'll flavor the house. Yeah. And what I'm saying to you is you can put some folks in hot water. Yeah. They get bitter. Yeah. They get hard.
David says, I once was young, uh, and now I'm old, yeah. but I never yeah. see the right thing. Yeah. 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 What is the question today? Yes. Are you willing to get over in your valley? Yes. That he may get you through your valley? Yes. Are you willing to go in the valley? Yes. So he can strengthen you in the valley? Yes. Or are you willing to look at a valley and reject the valley? Uh -huh. The choice is yours. Yes. But as for me, in my house, oh, yes. we yes. serve the Lord. Yes. We're going down here. Yes. Because I know if we go down here, He's in it with us. Yeah. And because he's with us, uh, yeah. he will lift us up. He said, if I be lifted up, yeah. I draw all men yeah. unto, unto me. Love Don't worry about your valley. Yeah. Yeah. Even someone else's valley. Yeah, that's it. Because that's it. all of us yeah. have a valley yeah. with our name on it. Yeah. And the moral of the passage is this. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. And I shall yeah. not want. Yes. David said, I can't make it no plainer than that. That's yes. right. If you want the victory, uh -huh. consider Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you need a breakthrough, yes. you seek Jesus. Yes. If you want deliverance, yes. seek yes. Jesus. Yes. If you want healing, yes. seek, seek Jesus. Jesus. Yes. If you want a victory, uh -huh. seek, seek Jesus. Jesus. Yes. We yes. must know that this valley that we are faced with, yes. God ordered our valleys. Yes. And not only that he ordered them, yes. but he measured it. Yes. And not only that he measured them, uh -huh. he controlled them. Yes. I'm just saying all that just to say this. Don't allow that experience to be wasted behind the valley because God pushed you in that valley. Oh, Learn how in the midst of all your trials and tribulations, oh, yes. you come to your own conclusion. Yes. For God I live, yes. for God I die. Yes. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Because Amen. His grace yes. and His mercy yes. is sufficient yes. for you and I. Yes. Well, this is the message for the people of God today. Yes. And just know when that valley comes. You're not in that valley by yourself. Amen. And because you're not Lord. in it by yourself, yes. learn how to praise him right where you are. Yes. Yes. Praise is what I do. That's right. Yes. Praise is who I am. Yes. I don't matter what oh. I'm in, what I'm coming out of, yes. there's always a valley mm -hmm. that we're going to have to experience. That's yes. it. And so we are here to show this dying word that our Savior lives. Yeah. Because he lives yes. within you and I. Yes. Yes. Just give God the glory for your valley That's it. and watch and yes. see mm -hmm. what he will accomplish through you. Let's Amen. give the Lord a hand. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Yes. 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 You've been praying for those that's not willing to pray for themselves. Yes. 47 years. Yes. They come in and out and don't get what they need and go on by their way. Yes, that's it. They don't even say thank you. That's right. But it's all right. Yes. Come on. Because God has strengthened you yes. through the valley. Yes. Amen. And that you can say to yourself, when it's all said and done, Lord, I've done what you asked me to do. Well, well, well. No matter how other folks going through their valley, uh -huh. it's hard for them to find you when you're in your valley. Yes. And because you took the time out to say, Lord, use me right where I am. Yes. I got it. I'm not going to allow this valley to overtake me. Yes. I'm not going to allow this valley to conquer me. Oh, I'm going to appreciate this valley Glory, man. because you sent it my way. Yes. I thank God for you, brother. Because in all things, you've strengthened me. Yeah. You've strengthened many of my friends around me. And guess what? You are a walking inspiration of how to walk through a valley and still give God praise. Glory. That's the message for the saints today. Glory be to God. They don't know what you're going through from one minute to the next. Yes. And truth be told, Whatever you're going through is already fixed. 
God has strengthened you for this journey. And when you look around and trying to find someone that you've already pulled out of the morally clay, just look back in your back and say, Lord, it was just you and I. Yes. And if it just continue to be you and I, here am I. Not me, but your will be done. Yes. Thank Lord, you, Jesus. Keep on using this mighty man of God. Yes. Lord, yes. allow yes. every yes. round yes. to go higher and higher yes. in your yes. will. Yes. Lord, yes. Lord yes. we thank him on this day because thank he's you. worthy yes. to be celebrated. Yes. Yes. Lord, we thank you today yes. because you didn't have to do it. But 47 years, yes. you've been with him. Yes. You've been with him. You've been covering him. You've been healing them. Thank you, Lord. You've been allowing them to preach. You've been allowing them to be a yielded vessel. Yes. But most of all, you've allowed him to exemplify your love. Yes. You know, love covers a multitude yes. of sins. Yes. Yes. And because it covers, he will remain covered. Yes. Everywhere he steps, he will remain covered. Yes. Everywhere he walk, there will be no fear. Yes. Because God has kept him for such a time as this. Yes. That's the message. Over in the valley. Yes. Learn how to be a volunteer. Yes. Over in the valley. Yes. And God will bring you value. Value. Through your valley. Yes. That's the message. You. For this money man today. And I love you. And God loves you best. Yes. Well, we thank God for the inspiration. That you've placed. And exemplified. In your daily efforts. Yes. God knows. And because he knows, he cares. And because he cares, he shares. Yes. And so I am grateful today just to be in the number. Yes. And just allow all of us to leave here knowing that there is a valley with your name on it. Yes. Amen. 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 God. All standing. Yes. In the building, all standing. Yes. Beautiful message, Pastor. In the I feel his anointing in the place. He's here. Said it was he's here to do the healing, the deliverance. We're going to open the altar now. My, 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 my. If you're in your valley and you need somebody to agree with you, Pastor Dion and me, the different elders, we can pray. Yes. That's all we can do is pray because the valley is for you. Amen. Not for us. Yes. It's for you. Those of you that might be someone here today that don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. You think your life can get any worse it can get better don't have to be the way it is you need your unregenerated seed to be changed and only the blood of Christ can do that the altar is now open for salvation for healing for deliverance whatever needs you have in the house today the altar is open at this moment Amen. We want them to come and give remarks. Oh, come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, the pastors. Every time of year, come on. Come on, give them some love. Give them some love. Hallelujah. 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 God, you look good. Hallelujah! Who brought the cancer? Who brought the cancer? A stroke! Hallelujah! A stroke! Hallelujah! Now, amen. Don't look like it. Don't look like it. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? Do it not. Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all, Joni was right. I can't sing, ain't got no rhythm. Before they had me one the ladies in the midnight. Oh, God will turn it around. How many you know that God will turn it around? But you gotta own that. One thing I discovered, as long as I complain, it seemed like it just stretched out more and more. But the moment I got some praise in my mouth, the situation was still there, but my mind changed. Thank you, Elder Dean. Appreciate you. You know I do. Elder Fife, thank you for those kind words. Big head, Joni. That's my baby. I ain't got one, one baby girl, one girl, one child. That's my baby. Amen. Dion, this is my barber. But everybody knows, every man knows everything is talked about at the barber shop. Amen. <laughs> Everything. You hear a guy out there talking about their wives, their girlfriends, their money problems, their heartaches, everything going on. And I don't know who else is saying that. In. Thank you. Because, see, it was my wife knowing you. She said, Well, and that does hair. And I think her brother is a barber. <laughs> and I was in need. I was looking and searching. You know, because you don't want everybody in your head. Yeah. Hey, man, that ain't just a woman thing. You, you don't want everybody touching your head. Amen. And when I came in this barber shop, I walked in. He was so gracious, so kind. He's been that way. You know what? He used to come to my house when I had a stroke and cut to my hair. He would get off work and come by my house and Amen. cut my hair. See, the Bible says there's a friend, and a friend knows at all times. Yeah. He was just with my barber, and so I thank God for him. I really appreciate it. There's son. That he trained. Stand up, Diaz. I mean, if y'all want a good haircut, I'm not, I ain't just talking. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Because he trained his son, and now it's like, if he ain't there, 
and son just as good. <laughs> and I thank God for us. I thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for you, each and every one of y'all. We're coming back at what time today? Okay, so I'm not going to hold you any longer. We love you. Thank God for each and every one of y'all coming out. It's a blessing to be loved. My mother told me this. And I know you always hear me talk about my mother, but my father died when I was nine, so my mother raised me. And she said, son, people don't have to do nothing for you. So whatever they do for you, be grateful. And so I want you to know from my heart and first lady heart, y'all know how much a giver she is, that we're grateful. Thank you, each and every one of y'all, all of y'all that came out, visitors, friends. And I ain't getting the names, because when I do that, then I miss somebody, then I'm in trouble. Amen. <laughs> so I thank God for each and every one of y'all. I love you so much. And so, who's going to close? Is that Elder Gear? Dion? So we ain't going to hold you any longer. Let us pray. Turn to gracious God, Father, we just thank you once again for all things. Father, we thank you most of all for our battles. We thank you because you've kept us. You've molded us, you've filled us. You've used us, and you've approved us. And now, unto him that is able to keep us from falling, grace rule abide with us now and forevermore, dismissing us from this place, but never from your love and never from your presence. Let the saints of God say amen. 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 We want them to come and give remarks.
<laughs> Just because somebody talk a lot don't mean that they do a lot. You can have a big mouth and do nothing. That's it. Or you can be quiet and do a lot. That's what I love. I, see, I don't need a preacher. I'm a preacher. That's it. That's it. I needed a wife. Yeah. And that's what she is. I mean, now she wants God calling. That's God's business. That's right. That's right. Amen. And I thank God for you, man. Amen. I love you. Don't you look good. Don't you love you. Thank you, Elder Dean. Appreciate you. You know I do. Elder Fife, thank you for those kind words. Big head, Joni. That's my baby. I ain't got one, one baby girl, one girl, one child. That's my baby. Dion, this is my barber. But everybody knows, every man knows everything is talked about at the barber shop. Amen. <laughs> everything. You hear a guy out there talking about their wives, their girlfriends, their money problems, their heartaches, everything going on. And I don't know where it's the same that is. Thank you. Because, see, it was my wife knowing you. She said, well, Annette does hair. And I think her brother is a barber. <laughs> and I was in need. I was looking and searching. You know, because you don't want everybody in your head. Hey, man, that ain't just a woman thing. You, you don't want everybody touching your head. Amen. And when I came in this barber shop, I walked in, he was so gracious, so kind. He's been that way. You know what? He used to come to my house when I had a stroke and cut to my hair. He would get off work and come by my house and Amen. cut my hair. See, the Bible says there's a friend and a friend knows at all times. Yeah. He was just with my barber, and so I thank God for him. I really appreciate it. There's son that he trained. Stand up, Diaz. I mean, if y'all want a good haircut, I'm not, I ain't just talking. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Because he trained his son, and now it's like, if he ain't there, his son just is good. <laughs> And I thank God for us. I thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you, each and every one of y'all. We're coming back at what time today? Okay, so I'm not going to hold you any longer. We love you. Thank God for each and every one of you all coming out. It's a blessing to be loved. My mother told me this. And I know you always hear me talk about my mother, but my father died when I was nine, so my mother raised me. And she says, son, people don't have to do nothing for you. So whatever they do for you, be grateful. And so I want you to know from my heart and first lady heart, y'all know how much a giver she is, that we're grateful. Thank you, each and every one of y'all, all of y'all that came out, visitors, friends. And I ain't getting the names, because when I do that, then I miss somebody, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so I thank God for each and every one of you all. I love you so much. And so who's going to close this out? Elder Gear? Dion? So we ain't going to hold you any longer. Let us pray. Eternal gracious God, Father, we just thank you once again for all things. Father, we thank you most of all for our battles. We thank you because you've kept us, yes, you molded us, you filled us, yes, you used us, and you approved us. Yes, and now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, yes, grace rule abide with us now and forevermore, dismissing us from this place, but never from your love and never from your presence. Yes. Let the saints of God say amen. 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 amen.